You got your mind right, 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 right. Got my mind right, money right, ready for war. Get your mind right. Got my mind right. Get your mind right. Get your mind right. Get your mind right. Get your mind right. Let me talk to him. It's the Get Your Mind Right Motivation Podcast with Nee Shobo. Let's go. Get your mind right, man. It's Nee Shobo. Yo, a lot of times, you probably listen to this, man. I, I can guarantee you probably listen to other podcasts. You probably read books. You're probably into personal development, right? And the problem that comes with a lot of those type of people, myself included, is that we tend to become personal development junkies. We like to listen to a lot of things, read a lot of books, and act like we're cool because we listen to podcasts and read books. And what happens next is you start to ignore the basics. You start to ignore like, ignore like the general basic principles of what it takes in order to achieve at a high level, to achieve success, to achieve, to get things in life, to get what it is in life that you want. Because isn't that what you want? You want to be an achiever. You want to succeed, right? So I watched the founder with my son a few weeks ago, Ray Kroc, McDonald's. McDonald's is the most dominant brand in all, of all time. So never mind whether or not you agree with the business model or what they sell, whatever. Ray A. Kroc, if you watched the movie, talked about and had this thing we call persistence. It's this whole idea of not quitting. You know what I'm talking about? Like not quitting, like not giving up after you try something once. See, Ray Kroc was 55 years old. His career was like towards the end. He could have retired in a few years. He was a milkshake salesman or a milkshake machine salesman. Ray A. Kroc failed over and over and over again, even as he had McDonald's. He was going to go bankrupt personally, but he talked about persistence, not quitting. Now you probably heard that word persistence. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I shouldn't quit. But you so soft that you tried something and it's not working out for you and you want to quit. And you're so naive, so foolish to believe that, oh, your plans were going to work out exactly how you, how you planned them, right? Oh, so you must have forgot that the rapper 50 Cent, before he dropped Get Rich or Die Trying and became one of the most groundbreaking albums of all of rap time, uh, all time. Oh, you must have thought that just happened on the first try, huh? You must have forgot that he had already been signed, was about to drop his first album, and got shot nine times, almost died. And you must have forgot that they dropped him from the label and he was blackballed from the industry because nobody wanted to be involved with somebody who was getting shot at nine times. Oh, you must have forgot that he went back to the drawing board and started grinding, recreating his old sound. You must have forgot that his jaw was messed up and he didn't sound the same. Oh, you must have forgot that he started doing shows when the people who tried to kill him were still going after him, trying to kill him. You must have forgot that he built himself up from ground zero and made himself 50 Cent as we know it. Oh, you must have forgot about how LeBron James lost to the Mavericks, got swept by the Spurs. Oh, you thought LeBron James just, become, just became LeBron James. You thought it was easy. No, man, no. They have what we call grit. Stamina, endurance, the ability to last a long time, the, be able, the ability to go through tough times. They have persistence. They don't give up. Colonel Sanders, KFC, same thing. Dude was like 60 years old when he started KFC. You must have forgot Frederick Douglass. He tried to escape from slavery the first time and got caught, but he did it again. And guess what would have happened if he would have did it again or if he would have got caught again? He wouldn't even have died. They would have tortured his ass. But you scared. You about to give up. You about to give up, huh? It's tough for you, huh? You've been trying for a few months, huh? And didn't reach your goal. Come on, man. It takes time. It takes persistence. Like Charlie Munger says, the universe is not a crazy enough place to reward a whole a bunch of undeserving people. You are being tested. You are being tested. So do not quit. Do not give up. Because that's success 101. Don't quit or give up. That's basic. That's like addition, man. That's like carry the one. That's basic. Basic, man. Success 101. Don't quit. Don't give up. So wherever you're at right now, I don't care where you're at. I don't care what's happened before. There's somebody who's been through a whole lot worse than you. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. 
So you cannot quit, because if you do, you're gonna deal with that worst pain in the world, which is what we call regret. You don't want that. So dust yourself off, stick your shoulders out, stick your chest out, smile, and be like, let's go, man. Let's go, this is part of the game. It's gonna make it all the more sweeter once you get your success, and you will get it. You will get it. Like Nas said, you're going to get whatever you ever wanted, baby. That's my word. You're going to get it. Just keep going, though, man. Don't stop. Let's go, man. Persistence. Get your mind right. If you love this podcast, I guarantee you're going to love the Sports Motivation Podcast. I have over 150-plus episodes of interviews, teaching, and strategy-based episodes diving into the mechanics behind how to be mentally tough, supremely confident, and ultimately dominate under pressure. Just go to iTunes, search Sports Motivation, and you'll see my face. I'll see you, man. Peace.